Hey guys, how's it going? It's Dylan right again and welcome back to my channel. So first of all, thank you again for joining the channel. I really appreciate your time. I also wanted to ask you, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, to please do so by just clicking on the button below and hitting subscribe because it's really going to help me in bringing you and creating more content. Today I'm pretty excited and I'm really excited because I'm going to be doing another video on AR Foundation. I'm going to be basically drawing with my hands and trying to actually capture the position and rotation on my hands to actually draw in augmented reality. So let's actually jump into Unity and start working on it. All right guys, so let me show you what we're gonna be doing, which is to actually attempt to draw with our hands. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm going to be using a component that is very common in Unity and that is the trail render. So with that, we're gonna be able to draw and then make it disappear as, we, as time goes by. So if you notice and you watch the previous videos, I did a video on human body tracking body fall. And my idea was to basically focus on using this skeleton that I have right now. And I, I show you a video and also a demo on how this works. It actually tracks my body. And then I can move around and I have a skeleton that is made out of cubes. I'm gonna be putting the link to that video in the description so that you can watch it if you haven't watched it. So the thing that I want to do, and I want to experiment with this, and I don't know if it's gonna work, it's to actually add, so let me go back to that, to actually add trail renders around our hands. So these two right here are components in the skeleton. This skeleton has been already pre-built. And the left hand has a cube inside. You can see that it has, it has a little cube. And then also the right hand has another cube. So my idea was, well, maybe I could create a skeleton that was all transparent. It's still gonna be tracked by ARKid, but at the same time, what I'm only gonna display, it's gonna be the, the actual drawing that I'm doing with my hands. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna duplicate the skeleton and we're gonna be adding a component which is called the trail render to this cube. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna focus on that thing first. So let me go back here and I'm going to just be duplicating this one. And this one we can just say a skeleton transparent. And, and like I said, this is all an idea. I'm just, I'm hoping that it's gonna work. And if it works, it's gonna be awesome because we're gonna be able to do a lot of different cool things with drawing with our body. So now that I have all these, if you notice everything in here has this component called Pro Builder. And the reason for that is because I use Pro Builder to set the materials. So I'm gonna create a new material. Let's right click on the material folder, go into create and then material. And then we can just call it transparency or we can just call it, yeah, I think that's fine, transparency. And then what I'll do is I'll grab every one of these components and then we're gonna make him, we're basically gonna make him transparent. So let me go ahead, it's gonna take a little while and let me just add it in. And then I'm just gonna start with this one. And let me, so you can see that it's already, is white. So if, instead of making it completely transparent because I wanna be able to debug it and, and test it before I do, I'm going to make it transparent but not, not to the point where it's gonna be really, really hard to see. So instead of selecting the rendering mode to opaque, let's go ahead and do transparent. And let me make sure, okay, so that looks, that looks good. We can now see that it's completely transparent and there's a little bit of shading on it, but that's okay. I think that's the smoothness that is doing that. And I think that's fine. Let's just do that for now. And then at the end, we can modify this material, which will be applied to everything. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do cube here. That way I can I can select them all. And unfortunately, I can just select multiple. At least I don't know that I can. So we'll just do one by one, that's fine. This is a number four. Or the other thing that we can do is we can do it right in the hierarchy. I think that's gonna make it easier. I can just make that transparent and make that transparent as well. Just do that and do that. So I'm just gonna do it, do it on every single thing. Let me just do that as well on the neck. The other part of the neck, there we go. And then it's gonna get closer, make that transparent. So we're gonna be an invisible, an invisible cube guy or girl. Okay, and there we go. 
Now let's just focus on the bottom area of the skeleton. Make that transparent. And I'm going to also be adding a link to a, to a tweet that inspired me to make this video because that person deserves this credit. And so just bear with me as I, as I finish this up. And then I'm going to be adding the component that I told you about that is going to be the trail render. Okay, and and to be honest, this is one of those videos that I'm really excited about because I don't know what to expect. I haven't I haven't done this. This is just an idea. So I'm just hoping that things work out and this works as I'm imagining. But if it doesn't, then we'll we'll find out something else cool to do with it. All right, so we have everything in here set up correctly. I think everything is transparent now. If we look at our transparency component here we can we could probably just let me make sure that I remove all the smoothness and then let's do let's do fade instead of and let's see what you can see how that is all fade out I want it completely invisible so that's why I am I am kind of looking for and let me make sure so we can do transparent Let's go ahead and remove the specular lighting and also the reflections. And I'm just gonna do, let's do the fade and see if I can get it to, cause right now I'm still seeing, oh, I think I know why. It's because I, I am basically viewing the cube. So it's still showing me the, the cubes because of the features that Unity has to display anything that I find in the search. Oh, there we go. So I was, I thought I was going crazy things were showing were they supposed to not be showing so now if I do if I do this you can kind of see that we still have the we still have the skeleton there and let me make sure that this component as well has that material okay so I think I think we're good there we go all right so I'm gonna I'm gonna completely make it let me let me go back and make it a little bit visible because I'm gonna have to focus on the hands and then we can go back to the component and make it completely visible, invisible. So now what I'm gonna do, now that I have that added, what I wanna do is I wanna add a new component to the hands. So in the in the case of the cube, we're gonna be duplicating what we do on the left hand. We're also gonna be doing on the right hand cube. So what are we gonna be doing? This is what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna create a new component here. It's gonna be called trail render. And we're gonna experiment with this and see what results we get. On the time, I'm gonna change the time to 0.1. This is just uh, an arbitrary number that I think it's gonna work. And you can see that that's way, way too big. So I'm gonna undo. And then what I'm gonna do is I need to change the size of the of the trail render. I'm gonna, as a rule of thumb in AR, I always start with 0 0.01. Since everything is in meters, I think that's always a good number to start with. And then you can see that that right there looks much better. So the other thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a key. And let me see if I can, let me add a key again. I don't know why the key is not getting at it. And but I what I wanna do is I wanna start with a large number here on the, okay, so we have our key here, there we go. Let's see if I can add another, if I can add a key at this area. All right, so the next thing that I wanna do is I wanna change the size of this. I normally, as a rule of thumb, I always start with, 0.1 in anything that I do in AR because everything is in meters. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm just gonna do 0.10. And then now that we, if we move this around, you can see that that's now, that's now looking better. So I'm gonna be drawing and, but as I draw, I think the, the vertices are not enough. It's just looking really square. Let me see if I can change this to, so on the minimum vertex distance, let's do 0 0.0, basically 0.01. Now, if we move it around, we're gonna see that it's a lot smoother. The other thing that I wanna do, I think the time is just too high. Let's try 0.5 and let's draw. Okay, I think that's still too high. Let's do 0.1. Okay, that's too much, too little actually. So I'm just gonna do, let's try 0.2. So think about drawing and how we want to display the trail. I'm gonna do 0.4. 
Okay, so I'm going to go back to point 0.6 until I get it right about, there we go. Okay, I'm going to make it a little bigger, a little larger, because I want you guys to see as I'm drawing what's happening. So I think I think that works. I'm, I'm okay with, you know, doing that. Then let me see what else I can do. On the end cap, let's change that to one. Corner vertices, let's change it to one. Okay, I think that looks a little smoother on the corners. Let's change it back to, let's change this back to zero. Okay, I think I like that better than, because it was getting some weird edges at the end. So I think I think this is fine. Okay, so I think I'm, I'm good. So the next thing that I want to do just to, as a test, is I want to change the color. Right now it has a material and the default material is actually not looking really well, which is that purple color that just may, may, mainly means that there's no material assigned. So I'm going to go ahead and, let's go ahead and just duplicate just duplicate this line render and then I'm gonna do this one this is gonna be line for drawing and then I want that to be very explicit and what I'll do is I'll go here under materials and then we'll assign the material and I think that's everything that we need to do so we have the mesh render we have the transparency assigned and then a, tra a trail render which has a line render material and the one that I need is line for, for drawing. All right now if I move this around you can see that that's green. I don't want it to be green though so let's go ahead and change the color and we can do something like maybe a red so I want it to stand out. Now if we move this around you can see how how that looks. So I think for now I'm gonna keep it simple just just do it like that and then on the next video we can we can make add some more textures so that it looks a lot better and I think that I think that works and out of this truck let's go ahead and do idle destruct okay that looks good and we can let me just go ahead and undo so we have the idle destruct we have the time I'm just looking at some of the settings just to make sure that everything everything looks good so I think I have we have everything that we need so the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to be copying this component and let's go ahead and go into the cube that is located on the right hand and I'm going to just go ahead and paste this component so I'm going to do paste component as new and now if I move this hand you can see that that is actually moving as well so I'm going to keep it like I said really simple here we can do some more cool things on the next video let me just clear the log as well and then now what I need to do as well is I'm going to go into my component here and I'm going to go ahead and remove all the all the fading basically set it all the way to zero and then the next thing that I need to do is just go ahead and get it built for the device just to make sure that we can see so now if you if you find the cube and you move the cube around you're gonna see that we're, we're drawing so thinking about this though I think we might want to do it a little bit bigger let me see if I can do what if we do point Let's just exaggerate it and do 0.3 because I want it. I wanted you guys to see it really well on the when I do it in the device. So I think I'm gonna do 0.3 on both, and I think we're good with that component. Now, if I go back to the skeletons under prefabs and then add it, you can see that we have our skeleton there. And if I move the skeleton, everything everything moves. So I think we're good. It's gonna basically leave some ra some trails, as you can see right now. But I think that's I think, I think that's okay. We can make some cooler features later, and we can just add these here. I'm not gonna be offsetting the skeleton, so I think this is good. Then the next thing that I want to do, just so that you have everything clean up, this one is human body tracking, and let me just change the instructions under panel instructions. There's a human, a 3D model, so that will be generated. Let's see. So we can just say that move your hands around to draw as the body gets gets tracked by ARKit. ARKit in this case, and hopefully ARCore gets 
their features at it so that we can do this as well for Android. All right, so I think, I think I'm good on everything. The, the other thing that I noticed that I didn't do, this is supposed to be named something different. Let me, let me go ahead and I'm gonna just clone it. That way I don't modify the original scene, especially because I'm putting this in GitHub. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to, I'm going to just copy it and then we can just paste it as a new name. I was gonna do copy and then this is gonna be human body tracking drawing. Okay, so we should have now a new scene and let me make sure that I, okay, there we go. So it's got at it there. I'm gonna reset the changes on this scene because I want this one to stay intact, like I said. And let's go ahead and, okay, and if I do a status, everything here should be just the new stuff that we just added, cool. All right, so now I'm gonna reload this scene. This is supposed to be the scene that we had before. I'm gonna go into the one that we just copied. So it's gonna be human body tracking drawing. So this is our new scene. I'm gonna go to file, build settings, and then we're gonna basically just add this as an open scene, go to build. I'm going to go ahead and put it in my desktop. Can just say body tracking drawing, hit save, and give it a few seconds here. So as soon as I finish building, I'll show you the results of running this on my device. Thank you guys. All right guys, so I got this running on my device, but before we look at the results, I wanna show you some things that I changed in the project. So we now have a human body tracking drawing example. And I also went in and made a couple of changes to the curve. I, I couldn't add key points, and I think it's a, it's a bug that was introduced on 2019, that one. And Unity recommended that you just double click on that curve to add basically a key in the curve. So I'm gonna show you how that works. So if we go into the, the actual right hand and left hand, which I have right here, and you can see that I was able to add a curve. And if I basically double click here, I can add another point, I'm gonna undo that. But that's how you can add points. If you right click on it and then a key, for some reason that doesn't work. I think it's just it's just a bug that was introduced. So just for now, just double click it. So what I did is I basically start at zero at the beginning and then I go up to point 15 and then I go back to zero. The reason why I wanted to do that is because I wanted to make it look like this. So you're basically moving around and the the curve just looks a lot better when you do it and you make it look like this so that's the change i did it i did it on the right hand and i also did it on the left hand so if we go to the left hand you can see that that's also that's also working it's actually looking looking a lot better so that's that change and then now what i'm going to do is let me show you i'm going to go into my finder and show you the demo so right here i you can see that it's, it's tracking and moving my hands around and by no means I'm not a boxer. I just happen to like to do those kind of movements. And and you can see how, you know, both hands are, are tracking. And obviously I could have probably taken a better shot, but you can see how everything, you know, everything is tracking. At some point in here, I'm gonna start making circles, which is right around here. And I think that looks really cool. Like if you got to if you wanna create experiences that, you know, where you have different motions, you're dancing or, you're even drawing, I think this could be extended to, to do a lot of different different things. So that's everything that I wanted to show you in this video, guys. If you guys have any more questions, let me know in the comments. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate your time. And if you have any questions about what I just showed you on augmented reality with body tracking, let me know in the comments. Also, be sure to check out GameDev.net because they have amazing resources for game developers. And I also wanted to thank my patrons for supporting me. I really appreciate that. And also, if you haven't supported me in Patreon, make sure that you check it out because I'm basically posting information about what I'm doing behind the scenes and also early access source code. Thank you very much, guys.